All right, so my last slide here, so I ended the other slide a little bit early there. Um, last slide, again, last set of slides, just going back to this. Again, imagery creates mood, reveals character, and suggests ideas, and you need a lot of imagery in these plays. Um, we talked about monologue and soliloquy. Make sure, you, again, you get that. Uh, uninterrupted speech to other characters. Soliloquy is to us in the side of the brief discussion to one of the person on stage. The tone of the feelings that come along with these words, and Shakespeare's kind of got you know, a lot of emphasis and tone in what he writes. <clears throat> the dramatic irony is with this, it's especially, you know, poetry, we didn't really find as much of dramatic irony. We had situational irony, we had verbal irony. With this, dramatic irony is when the opposite of what you think is going to happen happens, but we as an audience know it. So it's when the audience knows something that the characters in the play don't. We know from the first page they're going to die. They don't. So that would be dramatic irony. Verbal irony is when a character says the opposite of what they mean. Uh, again, it's sarcasm. Like in one part of Julius Caesar, Caesar says, be near me, Trebonius, and Trebonius is the guy who stabs him. So it's ironic. Like, he wants him to be near him to be safe. But, uh, tragedy is a drama where the central character, that tragic hero, dies at the end because of a flaw. That's a tragedy. The tragic character, again, is noble, has a flaw. Their character development stops somewhere because of that flaw, so Romeo can't get beyond the love that he's in. Get this down really well. This is different than a plot structure of a book, a regular book or a short story. You have exposition. You have the exciting incident. What happened that drove our character? What happened that motivated our character into action? Romeo meeting, Romeo breaking up with Rosalind, was that it? Or him meeting Juliet? Rising action is the problem getting greater, a series of climactic events. Climax is the highest point of conflict. Moment of final suspense is something new. It's when we think, oh, the, the conflict's going to end, and then, oops, no, it's not. So it's the moment when we think everything is going great for the tragic hero, and then whoosh, the catastrophe happens. They die. Something terrible happened. That's the catastrophe, the death of the tragic hero. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to click through these slides, take notes. I'm not going to really explain that much. Yep, and again, the catastrophe is the death of the tragic hero. And that's it. We come to the end of our notes. That was kind of painless. And make sure, again, you have good notes because you will have a test on this later. Have an awesome day.